Good morning. How are you guys? Ready for Monday? Ready for uh, chest? I am. I am ready. I'm going to bring us on live here. Should have everything in order. Feels like it. Feels like we're being efficient today. In good. There we go. We are. It's a straightforward chest day. It looks really mm, nice. So bench press, 12 and 12 for flies and bench press. Uh, basic, 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 and use it as warm up. 12 reps means a little higher rep, less weight. So use that to do your exploration. See how you're feeling today. Um, one other thing I was going to say, oh, I'm, I'm gonna do a flat bench. Then I'm gonna take it up a little higher for the next superset and then higher. Um, play it by ear, see what you have. Good morning. Don, hello. One of these days, it comes up on there that it says Don uh, Roberts is watching. Bring them on screen. So maybe, maybe a day that it's just you and I doing um, st the stretch class. You get your hair done, and uh, I just want to see how what will happen if I bring someone on screen. Hmm. Anyways, don't be afraid. I'll never do it without anyone's permission ever. <laughs> is that Linda? Yeah, hi Linda. Okay, you guys, let's go, okay? Um, got that, got that, and I got my weights ready. Okay, 12 press, 12 fly. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to do it with the same weight. I brought two different weights out just to see how it's gonna go. Um, here we go, just a lighter weight set this time. And then Maybe I'm going to use, uh, do four sets and this will be a warm up set. How, how does that, I didn't get a, a lot of warming up this morning. Um, so that's what I think I'm going to do. This will be warm up set and then we'll work into three um, working sets. Nice stretch. here for me. Good. All right. Now, whatever you've done for your warm-up and your stretch, I'm just going to do a couple of these for mid-back, upper back. Nice. Okay. Let's get on with it. Um, Oh, we've got more flat presses at the back, at the end. I didn't realize we've got two. Oh, at the very end, it's a 10 rep set. I think I'll make it an eight rep set. At the very end, we're gonna do maximum lifts, okay? Even six, six reps. Okay, so 12 here. So if you're, if you're not following me, we do a flat press at the beginning, and this is a nice warm up towards the end of the workout when we come back to the flat press. Um, it would be a good time to um, increase your weight and, and uh, focus on strength. I think that's what I meant when I wrote these out. Good. And 12 fly. I thought that was going to be easy when I first started. And then like by eight, it was like, oh no, this is not going to be easy. <laughs>
back into rest, right? Um, decide on the weights you're going to use. 12 reps. We now know we have we have historical data. This is going to get hard at around eight eight reps. And then I'm thinking because as the fatigue the fatigue builds, it might it might get heavy heavy at six reps. I'm not feeling heavy. I'm feeling more of that endurance, um, like the the lactic acid builds up, and you got to kind of push through it, push through in good form. stretched. Kind of got it. My low back feels like it really needs a good crack adjustment. Flies, when you're ready. Nice job. We got one more set of that, and then we're going into key press. If you remember key press, I'm gonna lift, like I said, I'm gonna lift this to a slight angle. Key press is here, rotating to there. If that's not great for your shoulders or, or elbows or wrists, um, you could keep it to a regular closer grip press. Um, you're gonna modify. Oh, and a Y. Nice stretch in the back, okay. Let's go. 12 reps here for flat press. Excuse me. Trying hard not to bounce at the bottom as you fatigue. You want to kind of use some momentum and it bounces and that causes problems in the inner workings of the shoulder, right? Oh, we do. I was thinking, do we have push-ups in here today? And we do. I put them at the end. I was debating whether to do um, Tabata push-ups or just put them in onto our last uh, set. And I did put them in our last set. Key press. Good. Um, eight. Eight rep set. It takes more time, right? Because you're more thoughtful. Not more thoughtful, but extra th thoughtful. Excuse me. Always hit the wrong side on this bench. 
So slight angle, if you care. And then, um, yeah. Oh, I might need those up. Looking ahead, trying to figure things out here. Um, why? Why not? So, key press. It's a heavier weight because relative to uh, rep scheme, the 12 uh, reps, eight reps, you could use heavier weights. But now you've got those rotations in there. So, uh, common sense. There's no shoulds and shouldn't. It's Monday. We don't know anything. <laughs> oh, here we go. Exhaust sets that we did um, with the flying press gonna affect that as well. Um, here we go for our Y's. Very nice. Ready to go for the key. Everything feels good. Alrighty. Let's do this. Now, things are getting real. <laughs> the helper muscles of the shoulder are getting fatigued. Um, the arm muscles, auxiliary muscles to this movement are getting fatigued. So now we're feeling the work. We're feeling it. give that a little extra rest right now. I'm just really feeling it in the front anterior deltoid. And that's probably because of those, you know, you're starting your key press here, really depending on, and then you're gonna rotate, rotate, and of course all chest, right? Of course, all chest. Uh, so, eight reps, six to eight reps, if you're gonna keep the same weight. If you're feeling challenged at the end, get six really good ones out. 
there's really not a, I don't think there's a great way to cheat on these ones. Because if you start bouncing, you're, you're asking for trouble. So use an appropriate weight. Choose an appropriate um, rep scheme for you. Uh, okay. good ones. I think it was that extra bit of rest helped. 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. Plate raise means you're using uh, barbells, the plates that go on the ends. Um, see what you have around. You could use uh, a dumbbell for the, uh, the raises. Why? Let's finish up here first. So, 12 shoulder press, press, standing or seated, both have their um, uh, pros and cons, okay? Seated, you're not using as much momentum with the rest of your body, so it's stricter. Um, yeah, either or. Standing up is, is going to affect your core muscles, uh, strengthen um, there. Oh, in the plate. Hang on one second. I'm just going to turn this way. Shoulder press, and then we're going to go to lot of high and then fly. I think I'm going to keep my fly, my next fly, on this angle here. That's an eight rep set. And then this is a, a 10 pound plate, right? For my raises. I'm going to rethink that. <laughs> this position. Um, is different from you know your other shoulder positions so if you're having difficulty here you might not have difficulty here or here or here okay so don't assume that you got a bad shoulder and you can't do anything go through the range of motion that works for you uh, visualizing health and strength coming into that shoulder at some point it has to you can't live like this forever oh. 12 10. I'm going to keep that. Felt a real challenge in my low back, I'll tell you that much, so be careful. Uh, you want to do it seated or less weight. There's a lot of auxiliary helper muscles um, making these movements happen, so you have to be aware of them as well as the prime movers of the shoulders. Whew. Let's go. More sets after this. Hello. 
11. Holy. I was going to say holy shit, but I don't want to swear. <laughs> holy shit. Whoa. Okay. We're doing it. Go. One more set, and then we got band. I'm gonna try this long, uh, long green band, light-ish. I'm gonna try my here. I'm gonna put them on each of my feet, and I'm gonna bring it up to the center. Scoop fly with a band. You might have a multi-station. I don't think so, but at a gym, if you see that great big unit that has the cables on either side, you see people going, right? All right, that's coming next. I cannot believe the length of this. A Shelly had been at physio and they cut her a piece off the roll. That's the only way you get those long ones. <laughs> All right, you guys, this should be good. We had a good long rest. are now experiencing the chest portion, I mean the, the shoulder portion of the chest day. And this is where I always refer back to when I say on delt day, on shoulder day. Um, it's a dedicated day for shoulders. You got a lot here. So you have to make up your mind what you're going to do there. You kind of got to, you can depend on me to guide you day to day, but you've got to make some decisions on your own. Um, and look ahead or look back to see where you were, okay? He, only you can know that. And your physiotherapist. next series in your head. It is low to high. Now you could use a dumbbell. You could um, anchor the band and go one side and then the other. Or like I'm going to try today is take this band to a wide stance and um, do scoop flies. Um, you have to be aware that we're going right back on that bench for relative heavy flies. Two fly movements. This might go all wrong. I don't think so. Let's go. Nope, that's good. You might have two bands. You know those red ones? You might have to have one on one side, one on the other. It just so happened to... This is great. mind that this is relatively the same movement. Eight reps, flies. Using the same muscle group, shoulder joint, in a different position. Um, the same but different.
Okay, here we go. Scoop fly with the band or your version. No comment. love this part of the workout. Everything's shaking there and you have to like really work hard to work through that a little bit of hesitation, right? And keep safe. We got the last set here and then it's a flat press, lateral raise, and push-ups. Um, tabata. I'm going to think about the tabata. Alrighty. Good. Scoop fly. Alrighty. Good. A little procrastination here. <laughs> uh. Last set, um, heavy, relative, fly. Okay, here we go for those um, presses, push-ups, and lateral raise. Uh, choose, and I want to go a little heavier, choose a weight that you think you can get eight reps out of. Uh, oh, it's a 10. Um, but I still want to go a little heavier. Oh, I thought that was eight. Flat press. So um, I would like to get 10 reps with these weights, but if I do not, I want to keep the heavier weight, and I want to go at least six to 10. That's my little addendum to this workout. All right, cleaning up the mess and recovering a bit so that I can get these, this tricep done in good, good form and good shape. 10, 10, 10, 10, whoo! 
Um, side laterals. Hmm. Okay, at least do that. All right. What do you think? When you're ready. Oh, I was gonna go flat. Hang on one sec. Actually, I thought my last um, round would be on a higher incline, but that's okay. We're here, we're doing it. 10 reps. If you're on the floor, be careful with heavier weights. Um, um, entering and exiting the movement. Um, that's why it's good to have a bench, right? You've got a little bit of room to help you heave. All right, I'm good. And then we're going to do fly, I mean, um, raise, side, side raise. <laughs> I'm losing it. I, I, I got to stop and, and acknowledge the fact. I think that we've been doing chest with shoulders for about two cycles now. Six, six, 12 weeks, maybe, maybe three months. Anyways, I am just feeling like incredibly strong, even with, um, they're only eight pound weights, but I would never have been able to do that. So don't measure yourself about what you see on Instagram, measure yourself against where you were and where I was. There was no way I was gonna lift eight pound weights for 10 after a workout like that. So these are the things you gotta put through your head. Put all the building blocks together and say, well, in this scenario, man, I'm lifting good. All right, give yourself that. You gotta give yourself credit. Something is going to get less and less possible. <laughs> my strategy would be to keep 10 reps with my weights at the weight they are, a heavier weight, and start to lose strength here for my push-up. Um, that's just my strategy. I think it's a good one. All right. them up is half the battle. And goes with this round. I was just so proud of myself last round. It might be a whole different story here. That's all right. Well, 
fun event. I was, I was trying to, to go back and think when we when, when I started combining chest and, and shoulders. And in my thought process there, I forgot that I only had to do 10 and I did 12, which leads me to believe I could take heavier weights on right now. But, oh, this is the stuff that goes through my head. I don't know about you guys. I exhaust me. set. I still haven't decided on Tabata. You know what, I think we're just going to do swings, either kettlebell swing or skier swings. All right, that's going to loosen up uh, that shoulder joint, give our legs a little um, air time. Good, that sounds like it makes sense. I don't know if I have an interval timer set up, but we'll clean up and we'll get to that. Um, we better get moving here. <laughs> if you don't have time, I understand. I don't know why this took so long. Three sets of everything. Good. This is our last set. Hang in there, you guys. If you have to go, you go. Do your stuff later on or double up tomorrow. Ugh. Years and push ups. Good. You guys take a sec to ease off and stretch out and I'm just going to put on um, the interval timer for Tabata. Like I said, as usual, you choose your um, cardio. There we go. Create timer. We got four minutes. It's going to go a little longer, but I think we got to get it done. Um, Alrighty. If you're ready, here comes 20 seconds. And all I'm doing are these. Good. Seven more rounds and we're out of here. Um, you want to do your stretch now, it's up to you. Good.
that's getting to be too much, change the movement, okay? You can even go. I think we do this at the end of the week. Metabolic shoulder press. Good. I think we've got three more to do. I'm gonna do one more of those. Maybe I'll go back and forth. I like a variety. Let's go. If you had heavier weights, this would be more challenging, all right? You don't have to go faster, harder, higher. Lift heavier weights and keep your movement smooth and safe. The added weight will add higher cardio, harder cardio. More intense cardio. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do those presses one more time. It's up to you. You might even be doing just jacks. Okay, we got this, we got this. We might have two more rounds, not sure. Oh, I don't know, here we go. Skier. Sometimes I jam out. I disappoint myself. Oh, you guys. Shoulder stretch will be there. Just add resistance. You don't even have to go into the whole pretzel thing. You could just add resistance, pulling in and out, right? And move your neck with that. You can do this any time of the day, right? So, have a great day. Thanks for spending Monday with me. Happy, happy um, uh, openings day. A lot of things are opening. My pool isn't opened, but other things are. Grateful and thankful. Hey, Julie, I'm jealous. Jealous. Yeah. I'll be there next year with you. Have a great day. Send pictures. See you.